Flooding is a constant threat in the South Valley, but after 11 years of red tape and bureaucracy, help is finally on the way. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton is live to explain what the solution is and why it's just now being used. Doug, for more than a decade, local flood authorities have been wanting to use existing drains like these to help send excess water to the Rio Grande. Tonight, they finally cleared the big hurdles, but getting here has not been easy. Every monsoon season, and really every time it rains, people in the South Valley brace for flooding and hope for the best. In the past, there hasn't really been an air, a play, way to drain areas of the South Valley because there is no infrastructure. Make that was no infrastructure because a huge help has been here all along, hiding in plain sight. In 2004, county and city officials realized they could help protect nearly three square miles of land in the floodplain. They'd use the Isleta, Los Padillas, and Armijo drains to send excess water straight to the Rio Grande. That would mean reduction of floodplain in the future and uh, no flooding in for some areas of the South Valley. Sounds simple enough in theory, but reality was much different. When those drains were first built decades ago, federal law stated they could only be used to reclaim groundwater, not for stormwater. For years, officials fought the feds, and in 2010, they won. But it wasn't over yet. They spent more than $10 million building the system that would take water to the Rio Grande. But they couldn't open those pipes and drains until the county and the the flood control authority signed a deal to maintain the system. And now, finally, 11 years and millions of bucks later, that's happened. It's a great day because now a lot of the facilities we've been designing and building for the last five years, we get to use. It's a big win for the South Valley, where homeowners don't have to worry quite as much about what happens the next time it rains. The flood control authority tells us there's still some construction to be done before all of this is finally up and running. In the South Valley, Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News.